and welcome to Three Toto TV. I am your host Ruchi Sharma, and today's special segment is about the world's first comprehensive regulation regarding the crypto assets industry to have come out of the European Union. The recent approval of the regulation on markets in crypto assets by the European Parliament marks a significant milestone in the regulation of the crypto assets industry in Europe and beyond. MiCA will establish the first harmonized and comprehensive regulatory framework for crypto assets and related services and activities in Europe which has been characterized by a need for more explicit regulation and standards. The regulation also stands out as the world's first legislation of its kind and sets a precedent for other legislations around the world to follow. MiCA applies to issuers and service providers intending to protect consumers and investors while ensuring financial stability and supporting innovation. Key provisions for those firms issuing and trading crypto assets include transparency, disclosure, authorization and supervision of transactions. Prior to MiCA, crypto companies had to comply with 27 different regulatory frameworks across the European Union member states. So the regulation is indeed an important step for the crypto industry in the European Union from a regulatory compliance perspective. From the investors perspective on the other hand it is expected that MiCA will also bring the much needed clarity and confidence to the crypto assets industry. In particular the regulation requires crypto asset issuers to provide complete and transparent information about the crypto assets they issue. as well as complying with disclosure and transparency rules this means that the regulation could encourage more institutional adoption and activity in the european union crypto market while reducing market abuse in particular mica will require firms to ensure that they disclose all relevant information related to the issuance offering and admission to trading of crypto assets on trading platforms to prevent insider dealing unlawful disclosure of inside information and market manipulation this will also enable investors to make informed decisions about investing in crypto assets while helping to maintain market integrity which is crucial for the proper functioning of the crypto assets industry the most critical category of regulatory requirements under mica is related to the authorization and supervision of crypto asset service providers and issuers of asset referenced tokens or electronic money tokens with respect to governance risk management and operational resilience they will play a crucial role in reducing operational risk such as cyber attacks and protecting consumer interest Let's hear from our esteemed guest Mr Chandan Goswami about what he has to say. Mica regulation is something to look forward to and the crypto community has been waiting for it since a very long time. Uh according to me it's one of the most landmark legislation which has been passed by the EU parliament encompassing everything related to related to crypto assets and it is going to be very beneficial for the entire crypto community in total. Uh according to me the prime objective for which this uh, regulation has been brought into force is to contain the activities of fraud to protect the consumers to ensure that there is a holistic development of the crypto market and to also keep to foster innovation while also keeping in mind the current financial situation in eu now the benefit that this is going to give is tremendous uh we'll see in the coming few years after this uh act coming comes into force that how the entire act or how the entire act is going to help the crypto players in the market i think for uh, to begin with there will be so many crypto investors who have not invested their money due to the fear of uh, uh the entire com- entire crypto assets being unregulated they are going to invest so we're going to see a boom perhaps in the investment we're also going to see a boom perhaps uh, in various compliances etc because if you want to if you if uh, in the future you would want to do business in the eu you will be obligatory it will be obligatory upon you to comply with the laws of the land even if you are not registered in eu but you want to provide your services to the eu eu people uh, similar to the privacy laws etc uh, so yes it's it's uh, it's a landmark law it's going to help a lot of the entire crypto community and i hope that uh taking this uh, new legislation into consideration we see much more 
beautifully written legislation is coming in the future. MICA will have implications for non-European Union crypto firms also. The regulation will apply not only to entities established in the European Union, but also to entities conducting related activities in the European Union, regardless of their place of origin. This means that companies based outside the European Union will also need to comply with the MICA if they offer their services to European Union customers. In addition, it is also worth noting that the European Securities and Markets Authority is expected to set up a public register for non-compliant crypto asset service providers that operate in the European Union without authorization in order to counter money laundering risk. Another noteworthy provision of MICA is the creation of a legal framework for stablecoins. More precisely, MICA will introduce a set of requirements for stablecoins such as reserve requirements to ensure that they are adequately backed and stable. This is very important given the stablecoin's critical role as a medium of exchange within the digital asset ecosystem. Overall, the regulation presents a positive step towards creating a more stable and secure environment for the crypto assets industry in Europe. While MICA has been generally well received by the industry, several concerns stand out as to how future-proof the regulation will be. For instance, the regime applies to token issuers as entities, not token exchanges as activities. Also, it does not regulate decentralized finance or non-fungible tokens activities. However, as the crypto and blockchain sector continues to evolve, further regulatory work would be expected in these areas. Turning to the implementation timeline, MICA will require approval from the European Council in July 2023 to be officially adopted as a regulation. It is also important to note that certain provisions related to asset reference tokens and e-money tokens will come into force 12 months after the regulation takes effect while the remaining provisions will apply six months later. This means that firms in scope should start preparing for compliance with the new MICA regulations as soon as possible to ensure they are ready to meet the requirements when they come into effect. Additionally, it is important that firms keep an eye out for other technical standards and guidance covering and specifying requirements on different topics that will be issued by the applicable authorities under MICA. Well, that concludes our special segment on MICA. We will meet again. Till then, keep watching 3.2 TV.